We talk all the time about um, how lucky we are uh, to play and, and work and coach for the Detroit Red Wing organization. We embrace the, the great history that we have here. Um, you've got uh, so much history uh, beyond this building, but certainly in this building. And uh, to have so many great players back, uh, Thomas Holmstrom was able to do the starting lineup for us tonight. Uh, it was awesome uh, just to see how many proud Red Wings there are. It's a great reminder for our guys uh, what a special place uh, we have that the atmosphere in the building was incredible. What an awesome atmosphere tonight. Um, you know, it's just uh, the fans. I mean, I can't say it enough how special they've made this this building. Obviously, the Joe has been historic and seen so many great championship teams and great teams in general and Hall of Famers, some of the best players to, to play the game. And of course, like Abby said, can't say enough about our fans just coming into the building tonight. People lined up outside the Joe. Um, you know, you got goosebumps seeing that. That was very special, and I think something that we will forever bring with us. There's a lot of things I'll remember in my career, and it's definitely one of them. Um, as, I mean, I guess in the bigger picture, it's, it's unfortunate that they, they came so late. It's a, that's the one thing that goes through my mind. But um, it, is, it is pretty cool, and uh, it's something I'll definitely take with me for the rest of my career. I don't remember being that happy for an individual scoring a goal, uh, I don't even remember last time. I don't know, maybe when Nick scored his hat trick, I don't know. Uh, but that was really special for him to, to get us started and get the last one was just so fitting. Obviously we wanted to, you know, give our best effort and, you know, sometimes games don't fall your way when, when that happens. But uh, we're just so thankful we were able to win this game and, you know, win it for the fans, for the city of Detroit. Um, you know, everyone that's made, you know, this building so special. And, it's, and it was fitting for, you know, Z to play his thousand, thousandth game uh, tonight, uh, last night at the Joe. And, um, you know, with the ceremonies and Stevie Y coming out, it was just, you know, walking in at the beginning with the red carpet. It was just, there's so many memories that I think guys will take and hold on to forever. And, uh, you know, it's... It's very, you know, this building's very deserving. It's been, it's been very special. Well, Zach showed Riley's goal, and Shayan alluded to it. He now the answer of a trivia question is the last guy to score a goal in this building. The first, by the way, Brian Sutter of the St. Louis Blues back in 1979. Plenty of chills all around tonight, Zach. You know, for me personally, when I walked in, the first thing I thought about was the first game I came here to Joe Lewis Arena, I was a 15-year-old kid. Tonight I'll walk out a 52-year-old father of two adult children, but like so many other people, with a ton of great memories created in this building.